Trying to move the plot forward. Gym themes. Right. Let's go! Are you any good? Uh, good enough, but not that amazing. Assassins and gym thieves. None shall challenge our liege. Minor South Torn Flesh, Minor Cutter Scroll. Now this more gym thieves. Locked door? Right. I'm guessing it's a, it's a circle. Go in one way, come up the other. This, this door is shield shot and cannot be opened from this side. Right. So this is uh, we have the capability of survival here. That's the important part. Jim T, Jim T, They're doing piercing damage. Bond of Lesser Summoning. Ten charges of Summon Creature 2. A healing potion. Minor self torn flesh. No, I think we need sinew. I'm not a super fan of the potion different different chase in the system, but I'm still gonna use the potions. Nothing walks away. <sighs> yeah, got some learning to do. Why am I killing these? Because of the moves. Okay, which one you are you going after? Your, your coin never went! Piece of cake. Woven ice wine. Ooh, that's a good magic bag. 80% uh, weight reduction. Not perfect, but I'll take it. 50 gold. Seems like the loot here is hand placed. Right. Summon a piggy. It's not. You hear voices coming from the other side of the door. The only words you can make out are get ready. That's reasonable enough. Uh, feel free to use it. Cannot use that item. Why? 
probably because I'm in this form. Seems nonsensical otherwise. Right, I'm dead if I say yeah. Item must be equipped first, right, so wands are used in a different manner in this It's a shield slot Interesting I, it's, it makes sense, but I don't want to complain right, about it because of that. Let's take them it's just down. something different again. Alright, <coughs> this is a dangerous situation. I mean, no doubt we'll survive this, but uh, we got separated, and uh, we're gonna we're taking sneak attacks from. Against every one of us. Prepare to be eviscerated, fool. I'm mostly worried about Talon because he's in the middle of them. Well, shouldn't, probably shouldn't be worried about him because I'm gonna die too. Rip you to shreds! <laughs> Nothing walks away. Okay. Fairly top fight. Nothing special coming our way, but so many standard opponents. So, got a victory out of it. I think I'll just rest. The pig isn't that useful that I would uh, consider much of a loss just because we more or less wasted one use of it. It's that not that interesting of an item. But again, another new mechanic. Usually, no matter how many wands you have, you don't need to equip it first. Which, equipping it makes sense. Again, I'm not sure if that's the best possible way to do it, but it, it makes practical sense. Gym Thief Leader. Now just wait right I can do there. It will not take me and alive. Don't, move a muscle don't worry, until not I planning to. Let's take them down. This is purely a murder job. I guess we're doing the bidding of uh, someone else, but uh, don't particularly care. I'm guessing this is trapped, right? Spinning blades trapped for hands. In with it, shurikens. Kalelos blade, attack bonus plus two, short sword. And we need to rest again. Alternatively, I suppose I could just drink potions, but uh, I don't think so. I'm just so poor. 
it's a great way to just save cash by just resting. And it's not like I'm using up spellos either, so... Point being, I don't need to rebuff after the resting period, so it's just a couple of seconds of wasted wasted time, and then we're back in full operating condition. No additional time needs to be wasted. Ooh. Two additional doors. Maybe some kind of storage containers? No. So they were murdered in their beds. What a shame. Nunchucks. Yeah, I think nunchuck is a Japanese weapon. We had the little bit of a faction war in what I said was we're in China. But I don't think nunchucks are actually a Chinese thing. I think it's a Japanese thing. I think Chinese have a sort of a similar thing, but instead of having the two pieces of stick and a chain, you more or less have like a sort of a similar weapon, but instead have a three piece wooden or a solid part, if that makes sense, like sort of chain through them all. But uh, the chain part in the middle would be another solid block. So it's a three piece staff, more or less. I, I don't know what it would be called. I, I think that would be more or less a Chinese ver version of the same type of basic weapon. Traps, traps, and more traps. But this is an interesting system to do this. You you basically have to just have the disarm trap ability, and it's uh, it's useful in several situations. I, I sort of prefer this. Not saying that every trap should be easy like this, but more of the... If you constantly just build up the difficulty class of the traps you encounter, you it, it basically becomes a thing that you either fully specialize in, or you might as well not take it at all. And that's the approach I dislike. Okay, this was a bit harder. Glute of Strength. Three uses per day. Again, something that you have to equip in your hands. Which makes sense. I mean, you, you can't play the goddamn instrument unless you use it, use your hands. But it's more of a... Inconvenience of having to switch uh, some items on and off constantly. So for convenience purposes, I prefer the system where you can just use it. I suppose uh, it, it's not like it's an instant action. It's you basically stop to use it. So I would consider it uh, sort of a similarly like we don't have actual wounds or injuries. We just have a pool of hit points. It's a uh, a system a system that just more or less imitates creates a e easier, smoother mechanic for something that is actually quite complex in real life. So I'm not sure if adding equipment requirements to these items is a good thing, because it, the action already takes time, so you can uh, easily imagine it. That, that time was, part of that time will include just taking the equipment piece in your hand and using it. It's less realistic, but it's much more convenient, and it more or less uh, is good enough.
especially in a system like this that's uh, already filled with these sort of things. It's not like... I think there's a turn every... or rather a round every six seconds, and your character makes a single hit uh, once at the start of that six second round, and then does nothing. So it's not like... Uh, this is the... my old stuff. <sighs> oh, well... It's not like... This is a game that is filled with those type of things. Uh, I, I, for fuck, fuck sakes, I can't think of the English word for it. Just drawing a blank. Either way, you don't want a detailed, realistic version of the system. You just want a close enough of an approximation that more or less imitates the important aspects of it while at the same time achieving a much more easy to understand and fluid um, faster system so the players can not have to drown themselves in uh, some kind of petty details. Nubles Blood Oath. Quasi Curve. I should have come here earlier. We're not getting back everything by any means but we're getting something. Sonic Focus, Potion of Phasing, Boots of Spellcraft. It's a random selection of crap from what we once had. Soul Contract. I think that might be our third Sonic Focus. The honest to God items from our actual inventory. Somewhere spread, abro spread around with the shopkeepers in the town we were. But it's good to get some of it back. Spellcraft plus 10, well that's gonna do a lot of good for me. Hide plus 10, it, it's, we're not getting any of the good stuff back so this is just beautiful shit really. Still, it's something. It's also valuable. Sparrow Wing, on the other hand, plus two natural armor. You have plus one. Right. Getting natural armor bones is from somewhere else, too. Fire resistance, saving throws. Um, I'll give fire resistance to him. I have some uh, somewhat of a fire resistance when I'm in this mode. So uh, I don't have such a need for more. Got another ring. Twisting. Dodge. Well, it's a somewhat useful thing, apparently. As I said, nothing of real value. We did get fire burst arrows. Some thieves tools. Soul contract. Hold person two uses per day. In some ways, this was a, a bard was a good choice for this campaign because we have a lot of these items, uh, a lot of things that we can just use that have no tie into our class. Let them go. You hear a m mechanism below moving about and resetting itself. Ah, two viewers. Looking for a lever. They shall pay for what they have done to me. Long have I waited for this day. Right, we might have 
go against some uh, allies. Or they'll just get the fuck out. I don't care. They're better than I am. So, let's go. Let's go, Pyra. Gang rape! Prison guard gang rape. Classic form. Yeah, this is, has a much higher armor class than the arrow ones. Right. Well, this went quite well for us. Right, they don't have the armor class what the heavy frontline fighters had. This is too easy. Abstract. Abstracting, yeah, that's what fucking word I couldn't get into my mind. An abstract system. Ah, words, they're tough sometimes. Black Iron Longsword, Swan Attack Bones, Black Iron Helm, Fluttering Damage Resistance, Black Iron Shield, it's a power shield plus one. The entire combat system is already an ab abstraction of reality, so uh, going back uh, backwards with that, trying to incre increase the minute re realism into that is uh, it it's a mixed bag in my opinion. It's a reason it's an abstraction, because that's how it works much better. Trying to, I, I played a few role-playing games, pen and paper role-playing games in my lifetime. d and is a, uh, it's a very, it doesn't, it lacks uh, quite a lot of details compared to some others. Like, uh, critical hits might have just a simple damage modifier and the like, compared to, for example, some other systems where it can be well, I'm sure D&D has something like that if you want to spice things up, but it, it can have a huge list or variety of things that happens when you have criticals. You can uh, basically instant kill people, render some of their limbs useless, things like that. A lot more complex system. The problem with, just from a personal experience from playing with some of those more complex systems is you, you don't really want to take it all in in your adventure, because something that took 15 minutes to do can uh, turn into 45-60 minutes to do uh, it's as you ramp up the complexity and you have to think about it what exactly is being, what's the good that's coming out of all these extra mechanics and details that I'm adding to the game and the answer often is uh, not much you you basically just slow down everything to a crawl. So rather than implement these uh, less abstract systems and much more detailed system, is to better to take a look at this and say, yeah, this could spice things up a bit. So I'll add something from this this uh, more simple system to spice spice it up a bit, but in a way that doesn't require you to do a huge amount of additional dice rolls or the like, just to get things done. On a computer game, I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. I mean, the dice roll is done out automatically, so instead of taking a lot of more time, it's just an invisible number that you'll never see. And I think it will make the game better. However, 
here the equivalent I think is exactly this that a wand has to be manually put in your hand because before you can use it yeah it's realistic but it's a uh, it's it's basically just a minor busy work that gets in the way of just using the plastic thing None of itself, it's probably fairly irrelevant. But that, that shit adds up. The different type of potions, uh, yeah. It's an optional system, but... Uh, it's one of those things where I, I can see someone really wanting to add it to a game. While at the same time, someone at the top saying, "Yeah, we're going to cut cut this shit out," not because it's uh, objectively a terrible thing. It's just you can't just keep adding this shit to the game indefinitely because otherwise it comes bogged bog down with the pointless minutiae things instead of and detracting from the main experience, the story and the fighting. Because you just waste so much time on struggling with the management side of things, so having to click through a lot of things that should be there should be a more convenient, easier way to manage. Take the master's key and go. Rip you to shreds! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna taunt him. Is that they have the a good armor class. Taunt it. Armor class reduced by 4. His tower shield basically became useless. So it's a, it's a massive effect, really. Right. I'm not sure if I could have done this all that much sooner. Simply because these guys have a decent amount of equipment. The door before you has a handle on this side, so the others, though the other was sealed quite securely. I just wanted to make sure that we have a easy way to act, get out of here. Blood coming under the door. You are about to open the door when you hear two familiar angry voices inside. I think we're finally safe from those assassins. You locked the door, right? What? You didn't lock the door? How could I lock the door? You are the one with the keys. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find the right one. Ah, you always take forever at this. This one's for my mother's house. Um... I can prepare, yeah, quietly step back from the door and prepare for battle. I'm guessing they're the guys who initially got me. There realistically isn't all that much I can do. I can probably use a gem. Which reminds me. A new shield. I need to heal up a bit. Uh, 
But you have to be barely injured for this to work. That's just silly. Either way, I suppose we're about as in a good of a condition as we can expect to be. I still use some special abilities, but I think I want to start the Cone of Cold. Before you are the two thugs that killed you twice over, looking in shock at your arrival on your death condition. Now just wait right move. there, and don't move a muscle until I say. <laughs> One down. All right, crew. Let's take them down. Well, uh, I have to say I expected. I was expecting more from them. Serpent bracers. Serpent, serpentine in nature. These bracers can be used to briefly summon a beast friendly to your cause. One use per day. Plus one armor class. Blades Masters Bracers, Armor Bones versus Slashing Weapons, plus 3. Potions Effect have worn off. Right. At least we are getting a little bit of revenge at this point. And it feels surprisingly good to get some of the old equipment back. I, I was sort of getting getting into the mode that we're, I'm never going to see any of the old stuff again. And suddenly I have some of it again. It's good. Success not possible. Now just wait right there um, and don't move a muscle until I say. <laughs> we might be able to get a key. All right, crew. Let's take them down. This feels like a trap. It's a trap, isn't it? He flee. So he flee there. Not sure, I want to follow. At the same time, why wouldn't I? I suppose I'm expecting to find something different. Something hidden, something special. Very likely there's just a gem thief here. Nope. At the very least, we should get a huge uh, injection of cash out of this. Coming to pick a fight with us. Rip you to shreds. Fear what comes. Fighter version of a gym thief. Providing useful loot, hopefully.
I'm guessing the items will be more or less worth like a 1000 gold per piece. We might not get quite that much out of them. Still, considering we had less than 1000 gold, this is going to just allow us to properly upgrade something. Although, not sure what. I suppose I'm the least satisfied with our weapons. However, the gem weaponry is actually quite decent. Okay, people. One more place to go. Still... What is it? It has to be a clue to the next stage. No, 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 no. What's in this box? Ring of Frost Resistance. Well, this could have been useful some time ago. I'll take it. This uh, this form is very resist, uh, very vulnerable to cold damage. Any other traps? Average bone shard trap kit, average burning acid, average soul binder. I, I don't I don't particularly care. I'm sure they're wonderful, wonderful things, but ritual thorns, sign of protection. They're not my type of things. Rather my character's type of things. Trapper might be an interesting character to play. Apothecary. Strong potion of sinew. Wormwood liquor. The dark. Planar cant for a piece of information often secretly given. Ironically, the color of this rather stiff drink is pure white. It is said that when it appears completely black, you know you've had enough. A lot of booze. Even potion is very good though. It's probably from near death situation to fairly good condition. Branthis. No Branthis. Let's chat a bit. You appear to have entered after a recent fight. Though though one man lies dead upon the stone floor, the other seems close to death himself. Come to finish the job. The man before you is clearly dying. His skin pales visibly and his breath is ragged. So, sent to finish the job your assassin friend began? Who are you? Speaking seems to be painful for the man, each word a grimace. Once there was a time when my name was a closely guarded secret. Now it matters not. My guilt shattered till I leaving my body. He pauses to catch his breath. Branthis. My name is Branthis. 
I seek my child. Please tell me where I might find his. Your child? Ah, you must be Jaina. Man pulls his carpet. Uh, I imagine the man who had you in prison was Laren. Tell me, tell me who it is. No, no, no. You must do something first. Make my dying curse real. The assassins must pay for what they have done. Kill them to the last, and you shall find the truth you seek. I do not do your bidding. It matters not. Already I feel the life leaving my body. Assassin's poison in my veins. Upon my body you will find what you need to exact my prize. His breath becomes shallow and he no longer speaks. Kick him. His body is twitches once, then still. Assassin's Guild Key. Strange Dagger. There is something mysterious about this dagger. The design is unique and several symbols are carved into the hilt. Perhaps someone knowledgeable about assorted arms would know more. <laughs> Perhaps. Branthus's Journal This journal appears to have been written by Branthus, leader of the Gem Thieves. Though most entries deal with assorted business dealings, several passages are noteworthy. It seems that O has expressed an even greater interest in our prisoner than I might have suspected. When we initially captured them from Toru, I... I wonder if the O refers to Oric. the main villain from the first game. So would be this would this be sort of a return of, of an old villain to exact the vengeance. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I, I I haven't been paying too much attention to names dropped in this module, so it might have been something com someone completely different. Um, when we initially captured them from Toril, I thought it another of his unusual requests. Last night, he requested that we reanimate them, and he seemed strangely agitated. I pressed the issue, suggesting that there were difficulties that may require extra payment, and he seemed not to care about price, only that they were healthy and unharmed. Later, Branthis writes, I have taken a risky course of action, delaying delivery of all shipment, as I think he shall pay considerably more than usual. I have done some research which suggests that he has a personal interest in our prisoners. I must be careful, for I have seen O's wrath before, and I do not wish to involve it my, upon myself. The final entry reads, I'm a fool. The prisoners escaped. How, I do not know. Though my agents searched the city, they have so far evaded my detection. I fear that O shall send his assassins after me, thinking that I refuse to hand his precious cargo over. I must find them before that happens. Right. This sort of, uh, this would fit very well if O is already. We were woefully inadequate face it, to face him when we when he was first a problem. Now, if we manage to restore ourselves, uh, I think we would more or less be sufficiently good at doing that. Oh, 
away. A dictionary of plainer cant, Burke, a clueless fool. And he thought himself quite the clever one, but he proved himself a Burke in the end. Jink, money or coin. Cutter, a resourceful or practically clever person. Brainbox, a general reference uh, to the dead, often used in an insulting manner. Uh, that doesn't... Uh, yeah, head, not dead. I was confused there for a second. Uh, dead book, used to refer to someone who died. Kip, a place to spend the night, uh, typically low rent. Oi, a general greeting uh, or attention getting praise. Rule of three, one of the general laws of the multiverse is that things tend to happen in threes. Barmy, crazy. Fairly easy to understand. There's a box here. Box of iron. It's a nice uh, way to do it because usually the highlight uh, reveals all such things, but the fire overrides that. Invisibility and knock. Those will be useful. Okay. And spirit gems. Anything interesting? Stocking one's gem with items of great beauty or power creates harmonious resonance within the gem leading the greater energy output. Um, life cycle of the tainted. Tainted in their adult form are unable to create offspring. Instead, they first live a mortal life to bear children, and upon their deaths are reincarnated into their adult form. In some families, their children remain in Amalas, creating complex relationships between mortal parents, chil uh, children, and the grandparents, who are fully bl blooded tainted. For this reason, you will see a variety of non-tainted races living in Omelas, as they are the children and family of those in their mortal cycle. Some children are sent away as youngsters, in part to protect them from faction violence that flares up. Others feel that the experience of a mortal life away from Omelas enriches their life when they return. When a mortal tainted dies, their spirit is sent outward to Amalas and reborn in the communal birthing grove. It has been rumored that someone has found a way to trap some of these spirits upon their return, possibly to use their spirit gem as a source of income. And we're done. The only option we have is to hunt down the assassins. It's going to be another group of rogues, though. I'm sure we can handle it, but it's a bit of a pain to ask. What is this? Ah. No, what is this? Have I been here? Yes, you have to go through here. I've been the central chamber. Not so sure I have. No, I don't think so. I've been here before when I started the game. I hated this place the first time I came here. Second look doesn't make it any better. Right. Sewer access. Okay. Right. Um, I'll have to do some inventory management. I think I have quite changed shape at this point. I won't be able to move around at all. That should give us an injection of cash, which we need to invest wisely. 
something that counters assassins. This seems to have a quite a supply of them. Maybe get more spirit coins. Although, ooh, hello, assassin. I have no fight with you, Jaina. Though perhaps our paths will cross again. Right. All right, crew. Let's take them down. <laughs> Alright crew, let's take them down. Oh, can't do it. Magically warded. Uh, there was a weapon shop in the flame water. Mm, there's also a little bit of a problem. Uh, I seem to recall looking at the items available for us, and there's nothing that particularly powerful. Hello there. Okay, it's not the shopkeeper we're interested in. Is it the library, maybe? Then? Even the best ones here are a couple of thousand at best. Nothing terrible by any means, but uh, nothing particularly great either. Uh, you can certainly... Right. We, we basically bought the best place places available already. But I don't have a library yet. Um, I'm I have more upkeep calls than I have a spirit production, so I would have to buy something to get the library going. Um, is there any mention of it? Someone skilled in arms, okay, that would be the guy in the practice hall, I would think. Assuming it is a, a spirit gem thing, but he would know. Well met. Show Assassin's Blade to Armsman. Well now, this is a bit of a surprise. Assassin's Blade, is it not? Where did you... No, never mind. I don't need to know. He continues to examine it, handling the blade with great care. It is a serialist blade, made by the smiths of Amalas' Assassin's Guild. He holds the blade up to the light, pointing to several small grooves. Note the poison kind and uh, poison ducts delivering the magical venom known as blood fire. It is quite deadly. Any antidote? He frowns again. Members of the guild are given a highly diluted version of the poison when young, slowly building up the dosage by the time they reach adulthood. It's a painful process and takes many years. Any other way? The armsman is silent for a long time. I am not expert in magic or poisons, leaving such work to others. If you had access to a well-stocked library, you may be able to find a way to protect yourself against their poisons. I would not advise you to enter the Assassin's Guild without such protection, however. The results are likely to be short and unpleasant. Hmm. Sound advice. Hmm. 
Where's the Azazine's guild anyway? Sure, I can ask about. I do need to buy things. Create more spirit energy. Still have the cathedral. Uh, we we need to level up somehow. Let's look at do more jobs for the Order of the Flame. But uh, the Assassin's Guild might not be a terrible choice. Uh, the Assassins are tough, but not exceptionally good or anything. We should be able to handle it, as long as we have some protection from backstabbing. Uh, either piercing damage or something, and we do need a protection from the poison. Greetings, okay, um... No, let's do this first. Do I want the chainmail? It's just a normal chainmail after all. We have a plus two studded leather armor. It's probably just as good. Right, but it would be... It would weigh a little bit less. Greetings to you. Right. Uh, Alan st stops you. A look of burning hatred in his eyes. Something just struck me. You are not human anymore. Ah, that's what got you down? I can always change shape if you need a little human flesh to keep you warm at night. Alan calms a bit. Leave it to you to distract me from the matter at hand. It means that Larin is our only son. There shall be no more. I think of what we'll save in sha shackles and whips. Alan raises an eyebrow. Hence, there is that. I was hoping to have a passel of evil minions running about, but I suppose we'll have to make do. We always do. Greetings. Can I do my shopping now? Black Iron Longsword. It's still better than the non-magical sword I've been using. We want one Black Iron Helm, but we don't certainly need others. Uh, I'm gonna paint that thing blue. Yeah, it's... Mm. Okay, the metal parts are the only things that matter. I need blue. Doesn't matter what type of blue we need, really. Dark blue? No, no, no. Probably some kind of lighter blue. Maybe not. Come on. Metallic blue. Ugh. Light blue, maybe? Sky blue, that might be. Ah, good enough. Maybe something a bit lighter on the edges. Although gold goes fairly well with uh, blue. Changes. Greetings to you. Local stars. It's ooh, cold resistance 10. 
Uh, probably should. No, no, no. Uh, in a beast form, I don't think I can use it. Brutal Spellcraft, but we don't have very much use for it, it's better than nothing. Ruby Hearts. Away. Table leg. You have gloves. You're not. I think you have two erasers. Either the armor bones ones. I don't think so. Extra armor class versus slashing. Wait. Put the management, and we're back in business. You have 9000 gold. So I don't think we are gonna have to worry too much about money, at least not in the foreseeable future. Uh, I need to... Uh, I'll, I'll buy the bag of holding, I think. Uh, it's sort of a waste. At the same time, there aren't that many, too many interesting things we can buy. At l now we more or less have two bags of holding, so we can loot quite a bit. Um, I'm going to spend about a thousand buying new, new crap. Chandeliers and healers. A fine rod. Not sure how much that will help. Buy something else. Chandelier. Right. Mm mm. We're producing nine. Right, we can at least add one more room. It's gonna be the light. Demon is the librarian. We have a magic symbol. Spirit gems, life cycle tainted, history of tainted. Wonder what we can do here. This nervous creature beats about, looking eager to please. Yes, mistress. Identify things for me. What is that glowing magic circle for? Oh, that's for recharging as gems of spell storing. The creature frowns a bit. I don't like it so much. All those nasty spells charring the books and such. 
How does it work exactly? Uh, use the magic circle and place the gem within it and cast your spell at the circle. Show the library in the dagger. I'm seeking an antidote for a poison gall called Bloodfire. Creature seems excited to be put to work. Uh, let's see. Bloodfire. I seem to recall a reference to it in Gormir's Forbidden Tome of Poisons. Ah, here we go. It says to start with a diluted dose and then slowly build up the amount over time. In 10 years or so, you'll be perfectly protected. Is there no way to hurry the process along? Oh my, oh my. That is a bit of a problem. No time, eh? He ponders the problem a bit. Let's take a look at Dilly's diabolical tinctures. I seem to recall something about time in here. Ah, here we go. What is it? The librarian speaks excitedly. Oh, mistress, it seems as if you are not the only one who has had this problem. It seems that the alchemist Dilly was given a pet cockatrice, quite tame except for the occasional expulsion of poisonous gases when excited. While it is possible to build up immunity over time, his cockatrice had become quite attached to him, and he did not wish to leave him alone for the required years. I can start crying about a story about a pet cockatrice. Uh. And his solution? Creature points a scaly finger at the text. Dilly's elixir of immunity, right here. Mix it with a drop of poison and you should be immune to its effects. Librarian scribbles it down for you, frowning a bit. Some of these ingredients are quite rare, requiring the touch of a skilled gardener to grow. He shrugs, not my specialty though. Thank you and farewell. So we need to keep upgrading this plastic thing. Um, can I upgrade it more? Guard. This odd little pixie fits about, leaving a trail of fairy dust all around the room. Oh yes, what is it? What do you do here? Me? Oh, I care for the growing pretties in the little garden. I'd grab her. She giggles in her tiny voice. Please, I'm saving myself for marriage. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. Don't molest the pixie. I have a list of ingredients for a special potion. Do you think you could help? She releases another of her constant giggles. Oh my, that is a tricky list. Bladder root and white horn leaf. Dancet flower. She sighs. You must just be thankful that you have a pixie as a gardener. I have a bit of a fairy magic I've been saving up for just an occasion. My thanks. She plucks a bit of pixie dust and sprinkles it about, singing a little tune as she moves about. A burst of greenery fills the room and she plucks up leaves and berries, flowers and roots, moving quickly before the magical plants fade away. Here you go, dearie. She hands a small pouch of assorted ingredients. Take this and your recipe to a proper laboratory and you should be able to fix up your night's nice little potion. Wonderful. Give her a kiss. Your lips brush something insubstantial in the air before you uh, and you find yourself wiping off glittering pixie dust from your lips. Gardener merely giggles once again. It's my ass, is that it? Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, where's my laboratory? Right. Uh. 
I greet you. I've been given this recipe, an antidote for a poison. Can you make it for me? She takes the paper from your hand, all business as she reviews the steps. Hmm, shouldn't be too hard. Let's gather up some supplies. Here we go. This should do it. Uh, okay, now what? Let's cook this up and see what we get, shall we? Let's fire up that burner. Oopsie. Let's just add all the ingredients and wait a moment. That should do it. Now, the dagger. She takes the dagger from your hand and carefully extracts a drop of the poison into the vial of blue liquid she holds before her. With a flash, it shimmers with red flames which fade to a dull glow. Dull glow. Here you go. Drink up. Drink the po potion. You feel suddenly warm. Your blood. Your blood seeming to churn about within your body. After a few seconds, the sensation ebbs and you feel yourself again. Your lab assistant merely raises an eyebrow. We're all done. That's it. How do I know it worked? She shrugs. I suppose you won't until you've been poisoned. I followed the instructions to the letter. Well, thanks for your help. Uh, Talon said, I better take a bit myself. Right. Excellent. Minty. Hope it works. I hope it works too. Still, where exactly are we supposed to go? I should head into the sewers under Amalas and look for the entrance. Assassin's Guild. Well, mystery solved. However, I'm not. How does the cathedral fit into all this? Does it fit into all this? How does the wizard so fit into all of this? Either way, I, I think mm, going to Assassin's Guild is probably not a terrible idea. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it's a direct continuation. So if we can do one, there's a high probability we can do the other. Uh, but we're also getting equipment from our our previous adventures, even if it's not the one that we want to use. It's still valuable. So if I would have done that earlier, I wouldn't have to struggle with the money at all. Really. So, Alan says with a frown, "Just how long are you going to live anyway?" Hell, if I know. It's just that, when you were human, I knew we'd grow old together. Now it may be that I die before you. Don't worry about it. I'll have you stuffed and used as a doorstop. I can probably even swing a seance on our anniversary. Well, he smiles, there's always a bright side to everything. Don't sweat it. It's us against the multiverse, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So if we are at all lucky. We're looking at if not a level up, at least getting closer to the level up. 
then a mi um, some minor job might even push us over it. But we might get more equipment. You just follow me and stay. Close. Money isn't all that important right now. Oh yes, it is. Which reminds me, we're heading back. I I I don't have any healing items. I might have like a strong potion of sinew, something like that. But in general, I, I cannot heal anyone at this point. So, that's no good. I'll buy, uh, maybe not potions, but a couple of uh, stacks of bandages. They shouldn't be that expensive, probably less than 1000 in total. That's not where we want to go. Hello. About six hundred. We buy ten of these. Right, that leaves us with 5,000 gold. Enough to buy something. So we have to be strapped for cash. Don't want to rest, so I want to keep the summon dire board. At least at the point we reach the assassin's guild. There are cranium rats and dung beetles over there. Not exactly a life threatening danger, but they can still whittle us down a little bit. Has to be that door there. It's not that dangerous of a trip, but you just follow me and we'll see. I'll end it there. there. I would imagine that even if it's just a Guild that we have to fight a little bit, it would still probably take a little All bit right, of time crew. to get through. Let's take them if down. it's something where plot development happens, it definitely requires its own session. Surprisingly uneventful. This might be a good time to attack anyway. We have no idea how long the immunity to their poison will last, and uh, they don't have a huge time to prepare for our potential uh, arrival there. I mean, this is magically sealed, so usually no one gets through. 